Uh, dear participants, uh, it's with great pleasure that we welcome you today, uh, as Arzu said, to the fourth colloquium um, in the series of uh, cultural encounters in Anatolia in the medieval ages. Uh, this uh, series we have started in 2014. The first one was on the Georgians. The second one was on the Italians, only in Anatolia from the 12th to the 15th century. The last one was on the Ilhanids. And uh, this one, the Crusaders, we were planning to have it uh, last year in spring, but due to the pandemic, we had to, of course, postpone it. And unfortunately, um, uh, we could not have it uh, in the Ve in Vecam uh, premises in our gardens, uh, but we will, uh, as we were talking with Scott Redford, we will uh, have another, probably another meeting and we'll replace this one. <laughs> so um, uh, the series uh, uh, that we have, uh, we also publish the papers. Uh, the uh, Ilhan needs once it's published and um, Andrew uh, Peacock who will contribute uh, today had also contributed to that volume. We also publish the Italians and the Georgians are in print. Uh, and uh, hopefully we are planning to publish the papers of this one as well in 2022. Um, from uh, this year on, Vecam publications have become also part of uh, Koch University publications. So um, we have a more uh, centralized uh, distribution system and uh, our publications in English will also be distributed through in the United States through uh, Columbia University uh, Press, uh, Columbia University publications. Otherwise, you can find our um, uh, publications at Yapukredi or other uh, internet uh, bookshops uh, in uh, Turkey. Now, why did we start such a series in um, Vekam, uh, considering uh, the encounters in medieval ages? In fact, the aim of this series uh, is to introduce uh, different cultures uh, or states that were in Anatolia, that were formed or passed uh, by people coming from outside of Anatolia. And they were in Anatolia for a limited period of time. They came, they stayed, they built, they didn't build, they left cultural heritage. And then after a certain time, they left. So um, we thought that uh, this was an important uh, stage uh, in the history of uh, Anatolian cultural uh, heritage. And unfortunately, uh, as in many other countries, research on the medieval uh, period in Turkey has started relatively late compared to the classical period or to the Ottoman period. Now, these two periods had their own advantages. The, the classical period research had started uh, even during the Ottoman period with archaeological excavations. So in a way, there was a tradition to look at classical uh, findings and to look at classical cultures and uh, Near Eastern uh, uh, cultures that uh, were in Anatolia. So there was already a tradition, a research tradition. Uh, when it comes to the Ottoman period, uh, this time it is the archival uh, material, the huge archival material that we have uh, on the um, uh, Ottoman Empire. So that also facilitated maybe uh, research. How, uh, when it comes to the medieval period, uh, we had none. <laughs> uh, well, no archival material um, uh, has been left uh, in Anatolia or even maybe in other countries as well. Uh, and archaeological research also has started quite late concerning the medieval period. It was only after the Republican area that certain excavations started uh, for the um, Seljuk period, and that was all. However, uh, the uh, medieval uh, Anatolia, when we look at medieval Anatolia, we see that there are a variety of cultures coexisting at the same time 
and the complexity of their relationship necessitates a multi-textual research where different languages and a variety of sources have to be uh, interact. And that also uh, forms uh, one of the main uh, difficult aspects of doing uh, research on the medieval period uh, of Anatolia. Therefore, uh, with this um, series of meetings, we are trying to bring to focus these forgotten cultures in a way, these forgotten cultural inputs in Anatolia, and try to initiate new areas of research in order to support the cultural heritage uh, left uh, from these uh, states and from these uh, periods. So what we really need to do uh, is uh, with these new types of research, we have to be able to distinguish the material culture that's left from these uh, uh, different um, uh, cultural entities, because generally they are classified as either, oh, this is medieval, oh, this is Islamic, but which medieval, which Islamic? What period, what uh, region, what uh, uh, dynasty? So uh, in order uh, to be uh, more precise on the findings uh, and on the cultural heritage left, I think we need more research. We have to be more precise and uh, we have to be more careful and try to uh, disseminate underneath these large uh, umbrella uh, definitions of uh, medieval or Islamic or late. <laughs> so um, that, that's our aim. And uh, we are planning to continue this series uh, with uh, other um, uh, states uh, or other dynasties in the future.